In this video I will be talking about the post flop menu. Once your tree reaches the flop and you want to edit your conditions, you'll get a different condition editor than the one you got before the flop. This menu is called the post flop menu. The menu is organized into several different subsections. And in this video I'll be talking about these two sections here. In the left section you can specify a desired type of made hand, such as top pair, over pair or straight. And in the right section you can select draws, such as flush draw and 8 out straight draw. So, let's start with the made hand section. To demonstrate I'll select top pair. And once you select a value here, to the right in many cases a subsection will come up, where you can specify in more detail what you're looking for. So right now I can select the properties of the kicker. Now what is in this subsection will depend on the circumstances. For example, if I select two pair, then this subsection will be slightly different. And now I can, let's say, specify that I want the highest pair to be top pair and the second pair to be middle pair. Okay, let me just accept this condition to see it in action. For that, I'll press save and close. So, here's our new condition and as you may notice, the software has already automatically generated a name for it. Namely two pair consisting out of top pair and middle pair. So just to be clear, there's never a need to come up with the names for a condition yourself. The software will automatically generate names for you. So, in order to make it easy to see our conditions in action, I've set up this basic tree. I've set the flop to jack of hearts, ten of spades, seven of spades. And small blind will raise if he holds a hand within our condition. And he will fold if he does not. Okay, and if I now compute... and mouse over our condition, we get to see which hands the software considers to be within our condition. And that turns out to be specifically Jack-10 offsuit and Jack-10 suited. And these are indeed the only hands that make top two pair on this board. Ok, back to the menu. In the made hand section here to the left, you can also specify if you want exactly this condition, at least or at most. Let's select at least and try again. And now, all hands that pass through this condition will indeed be top two pair, a set or a straight. So basically, top two pair or better. When evaluating made hands, the software will not take the board into account. For example, I'll set up the tree so that small blinds preflop range is ace-jack offsuit. And I'll set the flop to a paired jack-10-10. And perform an EV run. Now let me just mouse over small blinds decision button here. And now we get this pop-up that shows small blinds hand distribution. And this pop-up tells us that ace jack is considered as one pair and more specifically top pair. Now this is something to take note of. Technically our ace jack has two pair on this board, namely jacks and tens. However, given the fact that the tens are on the board and not in small blind's hand, small blind doesn't really hold two pair. Basically, he just holds top pair and there's another pair on the board. So to sum up, the software will always ignore the value of the board when determining the value of a hand. So as jack on a jack 10 10 flop here is simply considered to be top pair and not two pair. Ok, let me just restore the old setup here with the undo button. And back to the editor. Now I want to make special mention of this last option here, specific hand. Here you can enter one specific hand. For example, I'll enter ace of clubs, ace of hearts. And select at least. And I'll now perform an EV run. And mouse over our condition. And now we see that our condition only accepts hands that either are aces or that beat aces. And this condition of specific hand can be very handy if you know what the board is and you simply want to specify the bottom of a player's range. Ok, this should be enough for now on the made hand section of this menu. I don't think I'll go over all the other options here since they're pretty self-explanatory. Feel free to experiment on your own if you want to take a closer look. However, for now, let me just turn this off again. 
And let's move on to the section on draws. Here you can define all sorts of draws. For example, if I select a fourth nut flush draw, at least using both hole cards and compute. And indeed, we will now only filter for hands that are a fourth nut flush draw or better. And let's try an eight out straight draw. And now our condition indeed just filters for hands that have eight outs to a straight. Now let's say that we want our condition to filter for hands that are both top pair and a flush draw. For that, enter top pair and flush draw simultaneously in the menu. Let's try that. And indeed, now the condition will only accept hands that are both top pair and a flush draw. On the other hand, let's say that we want to filter for top pair or a flush draw or an eight out straight draw. To do that, you need to enter conditions separately. First, I'll select top pair and now click on the button Add New Condition to List. And the condition screen will reset and be empty and we're now working on a new condition. Here in the lower left, a list of the current conditions is displayed. So right now our top condition is top pair and the second one is currently all hands. And the fact that this second condition is in blue indicates that this is the condition that we are editing. I'll just make the second condition a flush draw. Please note that the second condition's name has now automatically changed to flush draw. And let's add a third condition. By the way, you can also press space on your keyboard instead of pushing this button. And I'll make the third condition an 8 out straight draw. So, let's test our new conditions. Here, under the action, we now see the list of conditions under which the action is taken, which is indeed top pair, a flush draw, or an 8 out straight draw. So, they're all there. And I'll just compute. And mouse over the entire action. And indeed, all hands that are now in the race condition are top pair, flush draw, or 8 out straight draw. And if I mouse over the conditions individually, then we see top pairs, flush draws, and 8 out straight draws. So, in summary, if you want to have a condition like top pair and flush draw, then you should enter them both in one condition. And you will have top pair and flush draw. However, if you want top pair or flush draw, then you should enter them separately in the list of conditions. If you want to see what's in one of the conditions, then just mouse over it. For example, I'm mousing over flush draw here. And the menu now shows what's in this condition. Now let's say that I want to edit this flush draw condition. For that, I'll just need to click it. And it's now selected and I can edit it. And if you want to change the order of these conditions, then you can just drag and drop them. Should you want to delete a condition from the list, then select it and press Del on your keyboard. And it will be removed from the list. Oké, okay, dat zit voor part 1 of this video on the postflop menu. In the next video I'll discuss these other fields.